Hello class, my name is Dalvin, very similar to Alvin and the Chipmunks. A little cheesy joke, but that's all right. Today we're going to learn how to create a pivot table, organize filters, and how to build a chart. So let's go get started. So the reason why we're using a pivot table is because there is so much information. A pivot table allows us to summarize and organize a lot of information, but it just puts it all right in front of you, very neat and organized, and it's very easy and accessible. So the first thing we need to do is select all this data. Like I said, there's a lot of data. So if we go to this arrow right here and we click it, it will select all of the data in the chart, which is what we need. So then we shall go to insert, and the first option on the left, it should say pivot table. We are going to click the pivot table and the range is already set up because we have selected all the data. So we are going to click okay. It's going to open us into a new sheet. So the first thing that it asks us to do is to put retailer country into columns. So we're going to grab retailer country and we're going to drag it to the columns. And then as you can see, our countries are lined up in the spreadsheet. The second thing that I asks us to do is select the product type. And then we are going to drag that and we're going to drop it in the row box. The last thing it asks us to do is to grab the quantity, which we will pick up and we will grab drop at values. And we will also do the same for gross margin. We pick it and we drag and drop it in the value box. So in parentheses, it asked us to find the average and to set to two decimal places. So if you look to the right of quantity, there is an arrow that drops down. So if we click that, at the bottom it says value field settings. We are going to click this so it shows up a lot of data calculations that we can use to summarize this data. So we are going to click on average. And then remember that we have to put it into two decimal places. So at the bottom left hand corner, we should click on number format. Under general, we click on number. And we see that it's already set to two decimal places. So we are just going to click OK and then click OK again. And as you can see, it's set up the, de the data for average of quantity. And we're going to do the same for gross margin. Click on value field settings on average then we drop down bottom left hand corner we click on number format under general we click on number it's already set to two decimal places so we are going to click ok and then click ok again so as you can see that our data is very organized and neat with the two decimal places also the next thing that it's going to ask us to do is to set the column labels to only restrict it to Denmark and the Netherlands. So if we move our cursor to cell B3, we're going to click the arrow. And as you can see, it has all of our countries lined up. Okay, so it asks us to restrict to only Netherlands and Denmark. So at the very top, I'm going to click the select all box. Doing that, it removes all the check marks on the countries. So now we are only going to click Denmark and we are only going to click the Netherlands and then we click OK. So as you can see, it only does the measurements for the Netherlands and Denmark. The last thing that it asks us to do is enter a combo chart. So we are going to go up to this ribbon called insert and then we're going to look through the charts. It's the very last graph. We're going to click insert embo chart arrow and then at the bottom, we're going to create a custom combo chart. So we click on that and it asks us to put the average of the Netherlands as our secondary axis. So I'm going to click both of these boxes and then I click OK. And as you can see, it gives us a nice graph and I'm going to make this bigger so I can see a good look at the data. Yep. And that's it. That's how you create the pivot table. Have a good one.